Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 28th of 2021. Well, it is titled Total Lunar Eclipse from Sydney. So what do we see here? Well, this is the total lunar eclipse that occurred just a couple of days ago, taken from Sydney, Australia. And we see the moon here as it is totally eclipsed. Now you'll note that the coloration on the moon is not uniform. And that's because as it passes through Earth's shadow, there are parts of the shadow, the deeper parts down towards the bottom, which are much darker, and the parts up towards the edge of the shadow, which are much lighter. And that is because light sneaks through Earth's atmosphere and fills in the shadow. However, it doesn't fill it in uniformly. The closer you are to the edge of the shadow, the more light there is. So the top portion of this looks as though it is not even being eclipsed, whereas the bottom portion is almost completely invisible. Now the light that gets through into the shadow is generally very red light that is bent through Earth's atmosphere and into the shadow. Otherwise, the shadow would be completely dark and the moon would disappear when it was within the shadow. Instead, we get the blood red moon that we associate with a lunar eclipse. And that's what we get to see here. Now, depending on where you were located, the Pacific Ocean was a very good place to be able to see this uh, eclipse. Now, eclipses come in sets, and we're in the in an eclipse season right now. And in fact, we're just two weeks away from a solar eclipse, or what we call an annular solar eclipse, that will be visible in some parts of the world. So a chance to be able to see the sun uh, eclipsed. And now from my location, eastern part of the United States, it will actually be visible as the sun is rising in the morning. It will rise partially eclipsed, and then the eclipse will end as the sun gets a little bit higher. So you can look up as to your location as to exactly what it might look like uh, from your area, as you do have to be in the right spot for a solar eclipse more so than a lunar. A lunar eclipse is visible from any place where it happens to be dark where the moon is up and you can actually see the you can actually see the eclipse that way. So anyone on the nighttime side of Earth would be able to see a lunar eclipse whereas a solar eclipse not just anybody on the daytime side can see it. In fact you have to be in a relatively narrow range because moon shadow is so much smaller than Earth's it does not fully cover the entire Earth. So if you're not in the right location you would not see a solar eclipse but you still could see a lunar eclipse. So after this set of eclipses then of course there will be more at the end of the year we'll have another eclipse season coming up about six months from now in November. So eclipses occur about six months apart in groups and we often get two or three eclipses in each season. However, many of those may not be uh, very deep eclipses, may not be very prominent uh, lunar or solar eclipses, but may only be partial eclipses and not very visible for many parts of the world. So that was our picture of the day for May the 28th of 2021. It was titled Total Lunar Eclipse from Sydney. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.